So I posted one of my um, basketball shirts from last season and on Instagram and a few people asked me how I did it. So I decided that I was going to do a um, tutorial. Uh, it's actually pretty easy. So the first thing I'm going to do is type out my words. And I like to use the impact font for um, when I'm doing things like this. I don't know why it's moving so slow, but eventually we will get there. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch this to the size that I want it to cut. And I'm just basically um, recreating kind of the one that I uploaded to Instagram. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is weld these together because we are using, um, we're going to use the slice tool to get the, the knockout effect. Um, I believe I have the image uploaded, the basketball guy. I have so many images and stuff on here, so let's figure out where he is. There he is. So I'm going to immediately change the color of him just so that I can see the contrast. And then I'm going to change his size. And if you you notice, he's still too big. I just wanted him small enough for, for me to be able to, you know, get to the bottom. So I'm going to unlock it and then adjust, um, adjust the image to the way I like it uh, for it to look good, if that makes sense. So... This is, for the most part, how I want it to look, but I want to get rid of uh, the some of the background layers. So I'm going to select both images, hit slice, and if you can see, there are um, three, three, three images. Uh, three sliced images. So this is our, um, let's start with this one. So that removes uh, the bulk of the white. This removes what was in between the letters. And then that one removes the rest. So what you want to get rid of is what's here, like in between the letters. And then the, the black layer. So we're going to remove this one. And when you're learning how to do this, you just have to kind of play around with it a little bit. All right. So once you send it to your cutter and cut it out, um, you're going to obviously cut into two different layers and then um, layer them. What I like to do is the, the bigger of the two images, I place that one first and press it on and um, just press it on for a couple seconds, just long enough for it to stick. And then you're going to have, you got the outline of the second layer. <coughs> Excuse me. So with your second layer, um, you're just going to take it 
after you've pressed on the 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 back layer, the big layer, you're going to take it and um, place it like a, I guess, like a pl puzzle piece, sorry, like a puzzle piece and put it, fit it where it goes. Um, I hope that makes sense. If not, drop me a comment below or depending on where you're seeing this, just drop me a comment and um, I will try to get you more answers if you need them. Thanks for watching.